Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, you're welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, hi! Thank you so much for watching my videos. And on today's video, I'll be showing you how to make this wig using expression hair. So without further ado, let's get to the video. First of all, I will start by preparing the hair. As I told you, the hair that I'm using is expression hair, so you have to pull it before you start to make your wig. You have to comb through in order to move all the knots, if there is any. And also we are doing this so that the hair looks more natural and not blunt. And now we will start to make our closure. So I already have a video showing you how to make a closure in this channel. I'll put the link up here so in case you're interested to see how the closure is made, please click that link. And when you're done with your closure, this is how it will be looking like. And now it's time to sew our closure into a wig cap. Everything that is used in this video, I will put everything in the description box down there. So if you're interested, please check it out. And now it's time to do the weave bundles. Also, I have already made a video showing you how to make these weave bundles. It's very easy. I'll also put the link up here. So if you want to learn that, please check that out. And now what I'm going to do is just to sew in the weave bundles on my wig cap. When using the weave bundle, it's much, much more easier when you have a cap that doesn't have like uh, large holes. And then now I will just opt the crochet method whereby I will use a small pin and I'll take very low amount of hair, like very small amount of hair and I will just do the crochet method and if you did observe I position my crochet pin going downwards taking very little amount of hair take out from the crochet hook and then try to crochet the hair itself I'll position my pin going downwards take the hair and then take the hair out of the loop and then crochet the hair by itself and why am I positioned the crochet pin going down is because I don't want my my wig to look as if it's so much full and when you position your crochet pin going downwards it makes the hair looks more natural and it will not look so much full so you keep on doing the same process until when you're done
when you arrive at the front make sure you take very little amount of hair this will make your wig look more natural do the same steps until when you're done When you're done, comb through the wig. Make sure that you take out all the excess hair that are in your wig and you don't need them before you put it into the hot water. And now it's time to cut the U part of the closure. see our wig is done I will show you how it looks before ironing the wig and putting it inside the hot water so this is how it looks like it's much more fuller So what I'm going to do, I'll just put it inside hot water. When you put the wig inside hot water, make sure you play with it as you can see how I'm doing. Don't leave it in hot water for such a long time because it's going to destroy your wig. And after that, let it air dry. And this is how it will be looking like after drying it. And now I will just flat iron it and I'm flat ironing it in a very low heat and sometimes I tend to off the flat iron while ironing the hair because I really don't want it to burn so be careful As you can see the wig is ready it has moves so what I'm gonna do next is I will use my powder my face powder and I will apply a little amount onto my less closure. This is just to make it look more natural. And I'm gonna try the wig so you guys can see. So this is how the wig is looking like. It looks already good, right? better than before 
so what I'm gonna do next is just to cut this uh, less that was remaining And when I'm done with that, I will try again the wig so you guys can see it. And here is the wig. Please tell me your thought on the comment box below. And also if you like this video, don't forget to give me a like. The wig is looking so good actually. Et voila! Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you did like this video, please give me a like. And also, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe and we'll see each other in the next one. Bye!